नमस्कार मैं चारी नंदिता पांडे बैक अगेन विद वीकली फोरकास्ट फॉर द वीक स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सेवेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थर्टींथ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड इन दिस वीक वी वुड बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अगेन योर फोकस टू योर सन साइंस फ्रॉम चारो वी स्टार्ट विद एरीज इन दिस सेगमेंट द फोकस आर फ्रॉम एरीज टू वर्गो एंड इन द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट वी वुड बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट फोकस फ्रॉम दी टू बाइस So here we start, and we start with Aries. Aries are generally people born in the month of April. Let us see how you are undergoing, what you are going to uh, to go through during this week. For you, I see a lot of good things happening in various uh, factors. Uh, new creative ventures. If you are putting in investments in those, they will be very favorable. For, for similarly, good news happening in your uh, professional area also. Your juniors are going to help you during this week. It's a good, nice momentum uh, that is being developed here as far as your professional targets are concerned. And in matters of heart also, I see peace, love, and happiness seeping in. You might plan to travel uh, or uh, might plan an outing with your loved one, which would be quite memorable. But you have to be careful because travels otherwise are not going to give you any favorable results. They might just create some legal hassles for you. This is also the time when the cards are trying to guide you to be less possessive about your family members. Give them some breathing space so that they also, uh, you know, they go grow more beautifully and uh, you know they can express their feelings. Being too possessive might result in uh, anxieties in your life. Uh, this is the kind of projection and that I see. However, by the end of the week, you would be in absolute control of situation. You would know how to twist and turn situations in your favor. So this was for Aries. We move on to the next sun sign, Taurus, and let me see how Taurians are going to undergo during this week. Uh, how uh, the cards are projecting the week for you, and I see beautiful moments being spent with your loved one uh, throughout the week. This is the time, and you would want some time with yourself and your lovemate, and not uh, any external interference. It's just the two of you, or uh, you know, your own uh, close niche circle. That's you know you would like to be in your cocoon. So that's the kind of uh, situation I see. A lot of blessings in your love life and happiness seeping in from various corners. Professionally, how uh, things are favoring up? Then uh, professionally, there could be a woman who is very hardworking, who has a very matured and practical outlook in life. She is the one who is going to help you out. And in terms of finances, again, I see the whole uh, gamut where you know your interests are being uh, spreading around. To a lot of areas, you're not focusing towards your investments at all. You need to do that the day you decide and you start focusing towards uh, this targeted, you know, with a targeted approach, then things would be fine and they'll be more favorable and investments would start giving you results. Health wise, how you are uh, going to undergo during this week? Then I see maybe some serious uh, health issue might suddenly crop up, which could be a little. Um, uh, kind of problematic and uh, maybe you know an old uh, problem which would suddenly resurface again and kind of give you a problem so you need to be a little careful about your abdominal area that's why the cards are trying to guide you and uh, in family metros children are giving you a lot of favorable uh, positive energies which are good travels would also be quite favorable uh, generally more homebound travels that I see during this week so this was for Taurus and we move on to the next sun sign Gemini and Gemini is a generally people born in the month of June and let me see how you are undergoing during this week. So overall in matters of art things are fine, you would be in a comfort zone. But again you are ignoring one opportunity or maybe one area where you know which can give you even more better results. So that's the kind of situation that I see but overall more or less uh, it's a good romantic week for you. Professionally, how do you fare? Then professionally, I think you need to be a little more careful because uh, there could be some difference of opinion with the um, man who has reached a position of strength because of his sheer hard work. So he is very practical and he kind of expects the same kind of hard work from others and if you are trying to ignore in that aspect, that could be an area of trouble for you. Financially, nothing great during this week but whatever efforts that you put during this week might give you results as the week comes to its end and in the following weeks as well. Uh, health wise how would you fare? Health wise uh, things are uh, improving in a much more uh, with a much much greater force. This week you would uh, relax a lot, you would be in a much much more happier state. Travels will be quite favorable in the uh, family uh, area, more or less things are fine but still there is some issue, something which is kind of troubling, troubling you, bringing you a little sadness. And we move on to the next sign, sign Cancer and let us see how Cancerians are faring during this week and Cancerians are generally people born in the month of July and for Cancerians let me see how things are uh, undergoing for you. 
great goings as far as professional areas concerned more responsibilities coming in lot of efforts you're on your guard you know you've reached almost any climax stage you want to grow beyond this stage you're trying to you, you know you you're very very active during this phase and this is an excellent time to step forward and to uh, move ahead and you know go full fledgedly into your projects there are also a lot of renovation changes things like that to restyling about your uh, career lifestyle patterns so this is also a projection that i see during this week in matters of heart again peace seeps in there is a romantic week new beginnings are happening which would be quite romantic you otherwise also in a quite harmonious peaceful uh, situation where mutual understanding is the key and which you have it uh, with you during this week however uh, financially i don't see the first half being too good but later on in the week yes definitely you're going to overcome most of your problems and be in a more more comfort zone uh, um, health wise things are fine health wise i don't really see a problem in family terms also there will be a lot of harmony peace there's a lot of emotional bonding taking place at the family front and uh, travel wise how things would fare for you then i see a motherly fever uh, figure helping you out in your travel ventures she might guide you well during this week as far as to travel itinerary is concerned also weekend travels would be quite favorable this also can see then when we move on to the next sun sign leo and leo are generally people born in the month of august let me see how you are undergoing during this week and for leo i see that uh, you need to take a little soul therapy which is important because uh, any kind of transaction any kind of movement that you do during this week might create financial losses be very very careful if you have to put in uh, money uh, in uh, new investments or uh, shares i would not recommend you to do that during this week avoid doing that simultaneously uh, also in your professional area uh, slow subtle changes nothing great happening but uh, whatever is taking place are on a very very subtle levels in matters of heart also i would avoid uh, want you to avoid taking any major decisions during this week it's not a good week because there are certain uh, planetary positions which are not favoring might not really give you the right kind of impetus or the right kind of thought process to uh, take a decision so just avoid health wise how you would be uh, doing again health uh, area i see a lot of gastric problems or maybe you know there is some renovation some changes that are taking place which might give you anxiety stress and you know things like acidic body content so these are the areas we need to be very careful about and health uh, should not be ignored you are being very restless if you're traveling too much during this week because uh, it's it's like the kind of home sickness that you might be and even when you're with your family then also you're very restless so the whole zone you need to take soul therapy and bless each and every person travel otherwise would uh, be uh, only result oriented if a uh, woman helps you out in this however whatever this phase is uh, this is a very transient phase because by the end of the week you'll be in a very very comfortable zone and then now we move on to virgos virgos are generally people born in the month of september and let me see how you doing during this week as a lot of financial gains coming in this is a time when you will think about your investments there have been certain investments that you made earlier there have been certain financial progress that took place earlier now is the time to think about them take out the best out of it and then reinvent and uh, you know uh, plan for your future so this is kind of a contemplating or planning phase that you undergoing and you might you know eventually take up decisions to uh, you know kind of uh, make new investments in the near future professionally however there could be a feeling of loss or you might feel that you're not being given uh, due recognition or that kind of importance that you expect in life and in matters of heart also there are very slow subtle changes nothing great but then yes definitely they are improving and uh, as far as your health is concerned there are positive changes in health if you uh, can take up brisk walks or you know uh, maybe you know do a lot of outdoor sports they will really help you out in rejuvenating your health and mind body and soul levels so this is uh, how i see you doing uh, undergoing during this week and if i have to look into your family area i see lot of emotional anxieties as well as family's concern because uh, emotional insecurity is rather if i have to put it like that and uh, this is the kind of phase that you undergo however travels if there if you're planning during this week would again give you average results by the end of the week there are a lot of emotional uh, claustrophobic situations things like certain uh, issues that you want to overcome you want to come out of 
and yet you don't have enough reasons to do that. So that's the kind of phase that I see you undergoing during the, this week. So this was for Aries to Virgo for the week starting from 7th of October to 13th of uh, October 2012. Keep subscribing our channels. We would definitely talk about Libra to Pisces in our other segment. But do keep subscribing our channel. The channel's name is Nandita Pandey One. It's on YouTube. It's a free subscription. And the advantage is that whenever we upload a uh, video, you are directly intimated by YouTube uh, uh, for uh, the videos that are being uploaded. And you would, of course, have an access to it immediately. So this was it. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. May you be filled and blessed with love and light. And I'll come back again for the next week's forecast. So long. Atma Namaste.